Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and welcome to day six of the 10 day rings to make and sell challenge. Be sure to check out all the details about the challenge in the description below the video. Today I'm making treble clef and musical note rings. You are going to need your tools, a ring mandrel, 20 gauge wire and six millimeter beads. We're going to take about an 8 to 10 inch of 20 gauge wire and curve it about an inch and a half from the bottom. And then we're going to slide on a 6 millimeter miracle bead. From there, we're going to take our round pliers and just curve it at the top of the treble clef. So it can be about three quarters of an inch or an inch high. And then we're going to hold the bead above from the bottom and twist the wire around. It's about a third of the way up. So we're going to turn the wire right around the bead and then to the back. So we're just going to twist it, give it a full turn around and that will hold the bead in place. So just keep turning the wire so it's twisted all the way around and then we're going to flip it over and hold those wires down, hold the bead and then twist the wire a full turn around the vertical wire. So that's going to be nice and secure holding the bead in place. So from there we're going to take our small round pliers and make a little loop at the bottom of the treble clef. So just do a little turn right around and then take your flush cutters and clip that end flush. Pinch it closed with the flat pliers so there's no little pokey end. And then we're going to take our ring mandrel and wind the wire around the mandrel to do a full turn around. And then we're going to slide it under the treble clef. And from there, we're going to bend it straight up. I've cut my wire too long as usual. And then we will get our flush cutters to trim it a little bit. So it's going to be easier to poke it through. So trim it to about a quarter inch and then take it and just put it through the loop at the top. Now we're going to put it back on the ring mandrel, hold it in place and take your flat pliers and tug that little end around. We want to just completely tug it around to hold it and then clip that end flush and pinch in the pokey end. Just pinch it in place a little bit. These are the tweezer nose pliers from Zuron. Then we want to snap it down so it's just above the bead. So it's a little more discreet. And then just give it a pinch to hold it in place. Careful not to pinch it too hard. Put it back on the ring mandrel and squeeze it in with your thumbs so it's nice and flat against the mandrel. And there's your treble clef ring. So here is our note. This is a new design for the musical note ring. I'll link up some other tutorials below for other styles. And we're just going to form the loops now. So just it's the opposite of what you think because you want the wire to go to the back. So we're going to wind it around to form our spiral towards the back. And do the other side. Twist it around a few times to make them even, just using the end of a pen to make these spirals. And then we're going to take our small round nose pliers just to close that loop on either side. So just turn it around so it's closed and then you can pinch it down with your flat pliers. Just push it right down. Want it to sit nice and flat. So that's one side and then we're going to close the loop on the other side with the round pliers. Do any little adjusting that you need. 
keep turning it around wiggle it a bit if you need to get the flat pliers to pinch it in just go slowly with it just keep adjusting it so it sits flat push it right down and then we're going to take that end and just push it out so we have a wire going out at either side so there's our note already done push it in a little more if you have to and then put it on the ring mandrel hold it with your thumb and bring the ends around to the back so just hold it on the mandrel the wires go out to either side so we're going to remove it from the mandrel line up those wires and then hold it in the center back with your flat pliers and bring the end through the ring to hold it in place. And then we want to turn the wire around at either side of the flat pliers and it's going to hold it in place and it will be somewhat adjustable if you leave a little bit of slack between the twists. So just with two pairs of flat pliers hold the ring with one pair and the other pair you're going to just tug at that end to bring it around flip it around and secure the wire on the other side bring it around you could twist it around two or three times to hold it in place and then pinch the coil closed a little bit if you have a little bit of slack in there, clip the ends with the flush cutters. Make sure you just cut them flush and then push them in with the flat pliers so they're not pokey and they're nice and snug. And then put it back on the ring mandrel, press it down, and there is your musical note. I will link up some other tutorials for musical note and treble clef rings in the description below the video. The challenge will be happening from June 12th to June 21st, 2023. Be sure to join my private Facebook group to share photos of your creations from the 10 day challenge. Participants that complete all 10 challenges will be eligible to win great prizes, including wire from beadlon, this amazing stepped ring mandrel, and custom wire jewelry from my Etsy shop. If you don't have Facebook, you can email me photos of all 10 rings at the end of the challenge to be eligible to win these great prizes. The Facebook group will be open for a limited time during the challenge and will be reopened at future dates for future challenges. Please note this is a private Facebook group, so anything that you post in the group will not appear on your regular timeline. Be sure to check out all the details about the challenge in the description below the video. Have fun with the challenges, and I can't wait to see what you guys create. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you the next time.